and today I'm going to talk about briefly crush syndrome okay what's the crush syndrome is nothing but it's a massive crushing of the muscles okay when does it take place you tell me when there is earthquakes air raids bombing mining blasts such accidents right major accidents that can lead to crush syndrome okay And remember what's what happens when there's these types of injury takes place. When there's a crushing of the muscles, there is a release of what you call myohemoglobin into the circulation. Myo hemoglobin into the circulation. And this precipitates in the renal tubules and leads to acute tub renal tubular necrosis. Okay, if this is a kidney, they go and precipitate, right, and causes renal failure in the form of acute renal tubular necrosis, ATN, acute tubular necrosis, okay, and as soon as the patient, when there is a crushing injury, the patient is admitted and uh, all the investigations you do, but after two to three days, he will develop signs and symptoms of what you call ATN, that's acute tubular necrosis in the form of apathy, restlessness, delirium, scanty urine, okay? So how you have to treat this is just what you call, first a treatment may necessitate the application of what you call tonic A. Tonic A, which is gradually released so that the deleterious substance are released into the circulation in small amounts. And once the patient has developed what you call acute tubular necrosis, then you have to treat accordingly. Okay? So this is about the brief discussion and this is not an important topic for USMLE. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.